Hello Pharma aspirants, welcome or welcome back to GDC channel. In this video, we will be going to learn about the bacterial protein synthesis as well as the site of action of antibiotics. Protein synthesis Protein synthesis is a process whereby biological cells such as prokaryotes or eukaryotes generate the new protein. It is balanced by the loss of cellular protein via degradation or export. Let's discuss the protein synthesis. Protein synthesis happens by three steps. The first one is initiation. After initiation, chain elongation happens and after chain elongation, third process is the translocation or termination. In initiation, the assembly of a ribosome on an mRNA molecule is generated. In elongation, the repeated cycles of amino acids are added and in termination or translocation, the release of protein chain happens. Let's discuss these things in the details. The first step in the protein synthesis is initiation. Initiation. In the initiation step, the locating of start codon happens. This is the mRNA and the ribosome has two subunits, 50 as subunit which is slightly bigger and 30 as subunit. This S after the numeric value 30 and 50. 50 represents the sedimentation value, not the size. This is 30 as subunit of ribosome and this is the 50 as unit of ribosome. This is mRNA. These are two sites at which amino acids bind. One is amino acyl chain and or site and another one is peptidyl site. So in the first step, the translocation machineries locate the start codon in the mRNA. Amino acids in the sequence comes and get attached to the P site. A1, A2, A3 are the amino acids which are attached. Then the tRNA which is responsible for addition of new amino acids in the A site takes one amino acid and attaches it to the A site. This whole process is the initiation. Then in chain elongation, this A4 amino acid is added in the chain. How it is added? These all three amino acid A1, A2 and A3 moves to the A site from P site and get attaches to above this. Like this, this from the P site, amino acids get moves to the A site. So this is chain elongation and again these are moved or forwarded back to the P site. This is chain elongation. And in the translocation, the ribosome moves and addition of a new amino acids occur and the chain is terminated. This is known as termination step. In the termination or translocation, special protein hydrolyzes the polypeptide from the last tRNA where a termination codon is reached. This was the plan. Short detail of the bacterial protein synthesis. Now the antibiotics which acts on these steps. The first one is aminoglycoside. This aminoglycoside binds to the several sites at 30S as well as 50S subunit as well as to their interface. This aminoglycoside frees the initiation step. This step where amino acids are added is freezed by aminoglycoside as well as it interferes with the polysome formation and it also causes misreading of mRNA codon. Next antibiotic is tetracycline, which binds to the 30S ribosome and inhibit the amino acyl tRNA attachment to the A site. This 
I told you that tRNA is responsible for attachment of amino acid to the A site. So this tetracycline inhibits the amino acyl transfer RNA. So the amino acids not, are not attached to the A site. This is the representation of mode of action of tetracycline. Here this when A4 new amino acid is going to attached by A site, the tetracycline inhibits this step. Chloramphenicol, this binds to the 50S subunit interface and with peptide bond formation transfer of peptide chain from P site. This chloramphenicol binds with the 50S subunit and inhibits the peptide bond formation and transfer of peptide chain from P sites. When these amino acids are transferred to A site from P sites, then chain elongation initiates. This chloramphenicol inhibits this chain elongation by binding with the 50S subunit interface. Erythromycin and clindamycin. These drugs bind at the 50S ribosome and hinders the translocation of the elongated peptide chain back from the A site to P site and the ribosome does not move along the mRNA to expose the next codon. Protein synthesis may be prematurely terminated. The last mode of action of erythromycin and clindamycin. When a when these amino acids are forwarded to the A site from P sites, a new amino acid is added to the chain. So when the addition of new amino acid is done, these all amino acids moves from A site to P site. This step of moving the new chain of amino acids from A site to P site is inhibited by erythromycin and clindamycin. So it inhibits the translocation step. This was the detailed mechanism of action of some antibiotics as well as bacterial protein synthesis. Now in short we are going to discuss about the antibiotics. Antibiotics which freezes the initiation of protein synthesis. Aminoglycoside. Antibiotics which inhibit the elongation of peptide chain, tetracycline and chloramphenicol. Antibiotics which inhibit the translocation, erythromycin and clindamycin. erythromycin and clindamycin. A mnemonic to remember the antibiotics which inhibits the protein synthesis. Mnemonic is buy at 30 and sale at 50. The spelling of sale is slightly changed to remember the drugs. It is S-C-E-L-L, same. Buy at 30. Here, at 30 means drugs which binds at 30 as ribosome. The drugs are A for aminoglycoside, and T, T for tetracycline. The drugs which bind at 50 as subunit of ribosome. Sale at 50. S. Streptomycin. C. Chloramphenicol. E. Erythromycin L. 
L lincosamide and again L linezolate. That's for the bacterial protein synthesis and site of action of antibiotics. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.